My name is Tom Topolsky. I'm the inventor of the early vertical forearm trainer we call the Tech Paddle. You know, it's hard to trump athleticism, but unless you have an early vertical forearm position and establish that, trying to improve it, you're not going to become faster. You're not going to reach your full potential. What is an early vertical forearm position? I'm going to tell you what it's not first. It's not about pulling. It's not about doing pull-ups. It's not about pushing. It's not about getting out of the water and doing extension exercises. It, it's not about uh, pushing and pulling water. It's the opposite. I want you to think of a bench press. When you push, the opposite is pulling. The same thing. It's the opposite of a pushing motion. An early vertical forearm position is dictated by small muscles in your shoulder. Shoulder strength is critical for establishing a good one. I have uh, a picture of Dara Torres in an article that I saw in the New York Times in uh, I think it was October 2007 showing her with weights over a medicine ball doing early vertical forearm position exercises. To establish an early vertical forearm position requires strength that you're going to get through isometric drills. In fact, if you don't do the isometric drills and develop the strength around there, around the shoulder to hold that position, and the, the position looks like this, the elbow points forward and here, and these muscles here have to maintain this. It's very difficult. We start out with isometric drills and then we add resistance to it and we do early vertical forearm drills and we focus with the tech paddles every single day. Dara Torres is great, Michael Phelps, Katie Hoff. If you look at the 2007 1500 meter women's championships, they are all swimming with an early vertical forearm position. Think about the early vertical forearm position as setting up your stroke. If you don't set it up correctly, it doesn't matter how fast and how hard you pull the water. A flaw, a dropped elbow, which is the opposite of EVF, will kill your stroke. So you could be a great athlete. Think of an early vertical forearm position as setting up your stroke in the position and think of it as a, a paddle or a blade on a motorboat. If you don't have a motorboat pad, I mean blade or a paddle to row a boat with, you can be the sleekest, have the best streamline, uh, and you can be the most fit uh, vessel you want to be, but you're not going to go anywhere. You need the most critical element in swimming speed and early vertical form. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take a uh, marquee, a, a dry erase mark or a sharpie and draw a dot by their elbow. Grant's going to do this right now. Go ahead, start. That's all right. That's as much as it Hey. No, see, he's got it below his elbow and it should be above his elbow. So it should be right about here. That'd be right about here. There you go. And then he's going to do his other elbow right there. Now notice it's not going to be on top of the elbow. It's right here by the joint so he can focus on that. If it was behind his elbow he wouldn't be able to see it. Okay, pass the sharpie down. Um, the person that's using this tech paddle has a stress uh, mark on the joint here. Excuse me. Is a uh, stress mark on the joint means she's bending or he's bending the uh, fore or the arm and the wrist too much. So if you see this kind of uh, stress, you know that your swimmer is bending their wrist way too much. It should be stable and in line with the uh, forearm and the wrist. Watch and examine. Make sure that your dot is where you want to swim and forward on your side and catch. Dig down so the hand comes underneath that dot that you put on your elbow. Surfboard swimming, first person with the ball. Ready, go. Got to have to kick hard. Next person, go.
Kick harder. We're going to do it again. This time, don't move your elbow until the hand is under the dock. Okay, kick hard. Ready? Go. Hesitate longer, go. That's better hesitation. Oh, that's that's nice. Backstroke hesitation drill. Make sure you see your shoulder roll. Get it 18 inches deep before you start the pull. Ready? Go. Take your time. Slow down. It's better rotation. That's much better rotation. Arm wrestling drill here, 18 inches deep. Nice. Oh, I'll tell you what, that looks pretty good. Deep, kicking hard. Nice. Pulling with the tech paddles on. Kind of lock the arms. Lock. Head down after you after you uh, finish your stroke. Head down. Head down. Breaststroker, but he's getting it. Either one of these guys will breaststroke. Oh, okay. What? 